Hello, hi, and welcome to the next video in our Unity tutorial series. We will finally make some kind of save game. So what we have is this main menu right now, and it doesn't matter if you started the first time, you can actually select all the levels. I just offline created one more level. You should be able to do the same at this point in time. So we've got now three levels. The problem is that I can select them all from the beginning, from the main menu on. So what we're going to do is a very, very simple uh, save mechanism. There's multiple save mechanisms out there or methods that you could do. We are just looking at a very simple one, which is called player preferences, which is mainly used for settings and that kind of stuff, but can be used for also simple saving mechanisms. Therefore, what I want to do is from the beginning on, I want to select my two buttons that I can should not be able to access from the beginning on. My level two and my level three. Just select them both, hitting control and then the mouse button. And now I want to, on the button itself, I want to deactivate the interactability. Now those buttons, if I start the uh, main menu here, I cannot click on them anymore because they are not interactable anymore. I can interact with the level one button. So what do we need? Right? What do we need? We need to save somehow that we have finished a set amount of levels. So when we finish level one, we need to save that we have finished that level. So let's do exactly this. So I will go to my scene for level one. Uh, yes, because I made the interactivity, uh, deactivate my 2D mode. And I will actually go to the game controller because that is the one that decides that has this already this win-lose script where we go to the next level. This is a good place right now to also say, hey, when we have finished level one, make a safe game that actually includes we have finished level one. So let's open the win-lose script. I've got it here on the side. There we go. <clears throat> We have so far the next level name. When we hit the goal, in this case, when we hit the goal, um, we will go to the next level with this level name that we can actually set at the uh, game object. What I also want is another um, variable that I can set. Whenever I, I recall this script here, I need to say, hey, what should the save game be? Like, what should the save state be? And I want an integer and I want to say, uh, level number save, something like this. Level number save, and this will be this will determine if we finish level one, level number save is one. If we finish level two, level number save is two, and so on and so on. So I save the game. I go back to my um, level one here, and you see now the win lose script has this actually on there. So I want to say, hey, when I finish level number one, it should be set to one. Don't forget to do that also whenever you have the script again, right? So I will also have to do that on the other two levels that I have created on level two. I wanna save, hey, this this is was level two and on level three, I can save level three. Okay, good. Next thing, what do I actually do with this? Right now, when we win, when the game ends, when we win the level, we are actually putting out a, a message that says you win and we are loading the next scene if, there is a next scene existing, right? For level three right now, we do not have a scene, for example, in level two and one, we have one. What we also want to do is we want to set a variable to that specific number, right? We want to set a variable and that is called player prefs for player preferences, right? Player preferences, you need to have the Unity engine um, library used in there. Player preferences, we can now do uh, some things with those. What we want to do in this case is set an integer. Dot set an integer. We could also set a float value, so a comma value, a floating point a value, uh, also a text. In our case, we want to set an integer because, hey, how many levels did I, do I have finished? Set this integer to open bracket. What, do, what integer, what name do we have for this? Let's say levels or le yeah, levels done, right? Levels done, uh, a comma there. And then I want to set that to the number we have actually assigned on the outside because that changes depending on the level that we're in. Good, done. So now we are setting this 
player preference whenever we are done with a level. To make sure that we're not overwriting, right now we could have the problem if we have already level two finished and we restart the game and then we just finish level one, we would be overwriting that we have already finished level two. We don't want to do that. So what we do on the other side is as well, if player preferences, player prefs dot get int, we want to read that value, right? Get integer uh, levels done is great uh, is smaller than our level number save oops only if the, the value only if we have finished fewer levels than we are talking about now we are going to set to to overwrite the save right that's it Did i put it the correct way i hope i did uh, let me think uh if we have um yeah, if we finish less levels than we have right now, we are going to write the value. Okay, that is the first part. Pretty simple, I would say. Um, the second part to this is that um, on the in the main menu, on those buttons, right, on the buttons on the canvas, select the canvas and hit F, we've got those two buttons, right? Each button or three buttons, but the first one doesn't really need it because it should always be active. These two buttons they will also need a new script. So uh, level two or level three, it doesn't matter. Add a component. I already, uh, because I tested it, I called it level button. So do something like level button script or level underscore button because for scripts, I personally always do this underscore thing. Uh, create a new script. Right now we have the level button script um, in there. Let's open it. And now we've got our level button script. We can get rid of the system collections because we don't need it here and it cleans it up a bit. We don't need the update function as well. We just need the start function. So what we want to do is when this button is loaded, so when it is started, the first time only, right? When this main menu loads, um, I want to check if the player preference is high enough to actually go to this level. So for level two, the player preference has to be one or higher. To go to level three has to be two or higher. Our save mechanism, right? That's what we want to do. So let's simply do that. If player preference uh, dot get integer, right? We can get an integer. I could have just copied and pasted from here. Uh, be careful to take the correct name because now we're always looking at this variable with this name, right? Um, if this one here is greater than so if we have done more or equal probably um, than the levels that we want to assign on this button so the button also needs a public integer variable that this one this is the one that we assign for every button level two button needs one level to be done level three button needs two levels to be done and so on and so on so this is uh, needed levels for example right. so if our levels done is greater or equal is it more or equal the levels uh, that we need then we will actually activate this button right. therefore we need to change this little checkbox that's called interactable and therefore we will need to import unity engine dot ui because a button is a ui element let's make it a private uh, button there we have it and that is a button element doesn't matter really name button element the only thing this button element of course now needs um, to be imported because it's private so what we will do is uh, in the start function also get component with this get, get component this script here right now, if we say get component, it looks to uh, whatever we have here. It looks at this rec transform, it looks at this canvas renderer, at this image, at this button, at the script itself. It looks at everything that's here. Right. So and what we want is get a component that is called a button. Right. And it's this one here. Now it's looking at this one. And this should be our button element. Right. Button element is the same as get the component button and the last thing we want to do if this button element um, if we have enough levels done the button element should be uh, interactable button element dot 
interactable equal to true. Done. That's it. That's all the magic. Of course, now in my Unity here, I will need to say, hey, if I want to access level two, I need to have uh, levels done at least one, right? Uh, let me check if that is actually what we said here in the game controller. Yeah. This one, if this is done, we will say, hey, we have one level done, right? And then we are going to ask here, is one level done? If yes, the button is interactable. Let's do the same for level three. Uh, we will need the script, so get me the script, which we should probably sort at some point. I will do that off stream. <laughs> uh, let's get the level button on here. We need two levels to be done, and that's it. So if I start the game now, it should work properly. Right now, I cannot select level one and two. If I go level one, nothing changes. What I need to do is I need to finish level one. Right? I'm very bad at my own game. Whoops. <laughs> There we go, we have level one done. And now if I go back to the main menu, you see that we can also select level two. Even if I now close the game, replay it, you will see the player preference is saved and I can still run level two. I cannot run level three yet because I need to finish level two. That is a very, very simple save mechanism. Right? And there we go, now I've got level three active as well. Very, very simple save mechanism. If you ever want to reset that preference, that save game, uh, in Unity it's, itself, you have to go to edit and there's clear all player preferences. If I hit that, I have to uh, say yes because I, it's a safety mechanism and then your player preferences are done. Of course, now it also makes sense. The last thing in the video, just one minute, um, to get one more button. I will just copy and paste my close button here. Copy it, let's get that up a little bit here, for example, and then uh, let's call that reset. Uh, that will also be reset, save, right? or delete, whatever you want to call it. Um, and now what we need is, of course, in our buttons uh, main menu script, we will need a script called public void uh, reset save. And what we want to do is in here, player preferences dot set integer. We want to reset this value to zero, right? Uh, that value, of course, I forgot the name levels done or level. I think level is the mo levels, level, level, levels, level. I think level is the plural level and level, right? I will just rename it all right now because I think level is correct. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Good. Uh, level done and that I want to set to zero to reset the value. There we go. And what I also want to do is maybe uh, reload the scene, right? And there we go. Uh, load the scene to just, because we want to reload the scene. If we had reset the save state, of course we want to reload the scene and we can also do um, scene manager dot uh, get scene get active scene dot name right. uh, what is it uh, it's a uh, whoops point there we go so yeah that I want to select uh, connect to my reset button here and we should be done I haven't tested this I hope it works Ugh. I should have tested it I'm sorry if it doesn't I mean it's pretty simple it should work there you go boink so it reloads the menu. If I go here, if I finish the first level, we will have a save game. I should make the first level shorter because <laughs> now I have to always play for like 10 seconds. There we go. I go back to the main menu. I reset the save game and you see we're back to nothing. Good, okay. This was almost 15 minutes. Perfect, um, simple save game using player preferences. Nothing too complex. It's just basically player press dot set in set float set something, right? Good. Um, yeah, if this is any helpful, if you like the series, if you just want to leave a like, don't forget to do that down below. Uh, if you've got questions down below and so on, you know the drill, you know the drill. More important, stay safe, stay healthy out there. And I will see you back in the next one. Bye-bye.